What's up everybody, today we're reacting to the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Dawning trailer. As you know, if you're familiar with the channel, I'm a huge fan of Destiny, and I also look forward to this event every year. I love Festival of the Lost, I love the Moments of Triumph, and the, what is it, the Solstice of Heroes, and all of that stuff. Um, but the Dawning holds a special place in my heart, just because of the winter Christmas aesthetic. It's always so fun, so charming, and I think they bring out some of the best cosmetics um, during this seasonal event. And so let's go ahead and jump right into my reaction. This is the first time I've seen this trailer. Oh. Happy dawning to all. Is that Saint-14 there? <laughs> Free for all Come Destiny players. Sorrows, Look at that. So, let us party all the harder. Oh, yo. Oh, yeah, because see Europa now. It's all such a snowy planet. Oh, dude. Look at that. Bring back the Sparrow Racing League, please. That's a great looking Sparrow there. Wait, you can grind on rails with that? Holy crap, we're Tony Hawk now. Yeah, getting that stasis out there. Stay frosty. Cool little... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do the logo in there. Man, this guy's really riding around. Is that... Wait, is that all we get? <laughs> Only 40 seconds. Well, there better be a freaking website with some more details, I tell you what. Oh, thank freaking goodness we have ourselves a website with more details. All right, the dawning. Even the biting chill of Europa can freeze the warm hearts of Guardians during this special time of year. And even Levante welcomes you to the tower to learn a new recipe to find unexpected gift or two and take a trip in your tricked out exotic ship while you're at it. Spread cheer and get gear. The dawning has returned. Now, I didn't see it in the trailer, but Festival of the Lost had an Arcadia-class jump ship with, you know, some Halloween aesthetic. I'd love a dawning-styled Arcadia-class jump ship. My favorite jump ship in the game. We'll see if that pops up here. Season's greetings. A delicious holiday treat it has a few requirements. A handy recipe, the finest ingredient materials for you to gather, and a primed holiday oven. New vendors and seasonal rewards await. Yo, if I have to go deliver cookies to Shahan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot Shahan. I don't, I don't like, I don't really like that guy. Show of hands in the comments. Who likes Shahan? I would have rather it had been Shuri. Um, or even like, I don't know, find a way to get the crow over there. Or so, I feel like there's like so many other characters that it could have been, you know, you know, what would have been cool. It wouldn't have fit in with the timeline, but it could have been cool if within the Clo Clovis Bray exoscience facility, if we could have found like the raw, just empty memory bank for Cade six and put that into a new exo body and created Cade seven. And even though he would have not had the memory of Cade 6, he would have maybe hopefully had like the kind of similar personality traits and kind of quirkiness. And then he could have been the new light, you know, vendor, Cosmodrome vendor, because then Cade 6 already had so many stuff stashed there. So the story could have been that Cade 7 goes to the Cosmodrome and looks for his old gear, tries to piece together his past, but then also helps out new guardians who are in the new light experience. That would have been really cool. And then people would have had a... Uh, fondness for Cade no matter if they were a new player or an old player man Bungie come on hire me as a writer I actually lore masters are probably gonna tear that apart but I like the idea the dawning spirit celebrate the season and spread good cheer earn dawning spirit by comp completing missions bounties and recipes with personal and communal goals available the more spirit the guardians generate the better the rewards the evil Levante will have for everyone to share so it kind of reminds me I guess maybe a little bit of like um some of the seasonal events we're all contributing together but then also maybe a little bit like the deciphery keys, whatever they were in the um, Festival of the Lost. I'm not too sure. That was very grindy. Um, a jolly good ride. Um, enjoy a cozy new, a cozy ride in a new exotic ship complete with a smorgasbord of features. Generate dawning spirit to unlock your ship's aesthetic delights, including three selectable engine effects, a unique transmat effect, an animated shader that that's as unique as the ship itself. Animated shaders and new engine effects man they're going they're going all out with cosmetics they're really they're really leaning into it oh and then a festive fusion earn the legend new legendary fusion rifle glacioclasm um and show the enemies of humanity that even though this is season of forgiveness the forecast calls for pain and i've heard that fusion rifles aren't the best in the meta right now i actually haven't used fusion rifles a lot since like destiny one where i used them a lot on controller i liked pulling down the trigger on playstation and using it Oh, wow. Look at this little jingle guy. All the trimming is looking for something special to spruce things up. Tess has just what you need to finish off your holiday decor from an elf themed ghost shelf, not included <laughs> elf on a shelf um, to weapon ornaments that will turn that'll turn heads as you trim down your naughty list. Um, and then you got some images here. The, oh, my goodness. The tree it looks gorgeous. Totally decked out. Very pretty. Um, you have uh, everyone approaching the tower there. 
Um, oh, look at that, like a little candle, like a little like a Christmas caroling candle ghost there. I really like that design. Um, and I'm excited more than ever for new ghost designs because of the new ghost shell modding system. Um, so that's very appealing. <gasps> this one though, look at that, the Christmas lights. That, that may have to be the one I'm gonna have throughout the season. That's a go-to. The Christmas lights look amazing. And the subtle dawning design, that's better than the, the candlelight one. And there's, uh, yeah, Eva there. And then we have the new Hunter armor, which looks very elegant. Um, some of the Warlock armor there. And then the Titan armor as well. Um, lots of horns on, on that stuff. You know, I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, and then some extra things. So throwing some snowballs, it looks like. Okay, and so then I go over here and they have the new sparrows with the new glows and everything. Those are really, really nice looking sparrows. That one back there, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it has like some engrams in the back. Like, almost like a sleigh. Yeah, like you're bringing gifts around. That's awesome. And then we have a better look at the armor there. Very cool. Very exciting. Um, I'm excited to play in the dawning. I've been loving Beyond Light. I've been loving um, just kind of the new gameplay loop. Like the empire, or yeah, the empire hunts and just the bounties on Europa. And kind of getting the stasis fragments. I think I'm almost done with that. Um, the Wrathborn hunts have been really fun. And getting to know the crow and the missions that he had. Like with Hawkmoon. Has been really exciting. The Deepstone Crypt is very exciting. I've watched a lot of it and listened to like Deepstone Lullaby, but I haven't actually played the raid myself. Um, and then other stuff to look forward to, you know, like I think it's just gonna be a great season. And then some of the stuff they've teased for the upcoming seasons with Transmog and all of that. I think it's just a really good time to be in Destiny. Um, and I'm excited for the Witch Queen and then and, and Lightfall. But let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Destiny 2 Beyond Light, what you think of the Dawning Event. Still another year without the Sparrow Racing League. I really just, I wonder if the metrics just show that people did not enjoy that event as much as people like me enjoyed that event. Because um, I would love if Sparrow Racing League was a permanent thing. I'd love to go into Destiny and do some Crucible, do some Gambit, do some Strikes, you know, do some Patrols, and then, you know, maybe end out the night with a couple of races around the Sparrow Racing League. Um, but they're struggling enough to get maps in for Crucible and Gambit, so I can only imagine how hard it would be to also design new maps for the Sparrow Racing League. They just need to hire like a Sparrow Racing League team. It just always goes at it. But, you know, it's not as easy as just go out and hire, you know, all these new people with new salaries and new benefits and things like that. Lots of stuff to consider with the development of a video game. Um, bye.